Hello my dear kids. In class 2 we have learnt the basics of division. Here we are going to learn more about division. So let's get started. Let's start with division of two digit numbers without regrouping. Let's solve these examples. Let's divide 69 by 3. Arrange the numbers like this. Check the digit in tens place whether it is greater than or equal to divisor. Here 6 is greater than 3. So first divide 6 by 3. Say the table of 3 till you reach 6. Here 3 2s are 6. So we write 2 at tens place of the quotient and write 6 below the dividend. Then subtract. Bring down the 1's digit and divide by 3. 9 divide by 3. 3 3s are 9. So we write 3 at quotient's place. 9 below the dividend and subtract. We get 0. So, 69 divided by 3, we get 23 as the quotient, 0 as the remainder. Let's solve this example also. 86 divided by 4. Let's write the numbers like this. Then, check the digit in tens place. Here, 8 is greater than 4. So, we first divide 8 by 4. Here, 2 fourths are 8. So, we write 2 at tens place of the quotient. Subtract. We get 0. Bring down the 1's digit. 6. 6 divided by 4. 1 fourths is 4. 2 fourths are 8. So, we take 1 and write 4 below the dividend. Then subtract 6 minus 4, 2. Here, we get 21 as the quotient and 2 as the remainder. Division of 3 digit numbers without regrouping. Let's solve these examples. 626 divided by 2. Let's arrange the numbers like this. First take the digit in hundreds place. 6. 6 greater than 2. So we have 2 3s are 6. Write 6 below the dividend and subtract. Bring down the tens digit and divide by 2. We know 2 1s C is 2. Subtract we get 0. Bring down the digit in 1's place and divide by 2. Here 2, 3's are 6. We get the remainder as 0. Quotient is 313. Let's divide 848 by 4. Let us arrange the numbers like this and divide the digit in hundreds place by 4. 8 divided by 4. 2 fours are 8. Bring down the digit in tens place and divide by 4. 4 divided by 4, 1. So, we write 1 here and 4 below the dividend then subtract we get 0 then bring down the digit in 1's place 8 again 8 divided by 4 2 fourths are 8 subtract we get 0 here 
we get 212 as quotient and 0 is the remainder. Division of two digit numbers with regrouping. 75 divided by 3. 75 divided by 3. Here 7 the digit in tens place is greater than 3. So we divide 7 by 3. 2 3's are 6. We subtract 6 from 7 we get 1. Bring down the 1's digit and regroup 1 tens and 5 ones into 15. Then divide 15 by 3. We have 3 5's are 15. So 75 divided by 3 is 25. Let's divide 93 by 4. 1st we divide 9 by 4. We have 2 4's are 8. 9 minus H 1. Bring down 3 here. And regroup 1 tenths and 3 ones into 13. Let's divide 13 by 4. How? 3 4's are 12. So we take 3 here. And subtract 12 from 13. We get 1 as the remainder. And quotient is 23. Division of 3 digit numbers with regrouping. Let's solve these examples. 594 divided by 6. 1st we arrange the numbers like this. Then check the digit in hundreds place. Here 5 is less than the divisor 6. So we put 0 at quotient's place and write 0 below the dividend. Then subtract 5 minus 0, 5. Then bring down the tens value. Then divide 59 by 6. We know 6 nines are 54. So we take 9. 6 nines are 54. Write 54 below 59 and subtract. 59 minus 54 is 9 minus 4, 5. 5 minus 5, 0. Then bring down the digit in 1's place. 54. We already said 6 nines are 54. Subtract this, we get 0. So here we get 99 as a quotient and remainder is 0. Let's divide 739 by 5. Here 7 is greater than 5. So we first divide 7 by 5. 1, 5's are 5, 2, 5's are 10. So we take 1 here. Subtract 7 minus 5, 2. Then bring down the value in 10's place, 23. 23, we know 4, 5's are 20, 5, 5's are 25. So we take 4, 5's. 4 we write here, 20 we write below 23 and subtract, we get 3, then bring down the digit in 1's place, 39, 7 5's are 35, then 8 5's 40, so we take 7 5's. Write 35 below 39 and subtract. 9 minus 5, 4. 3 minus 3, 0. So we get 147 as the quotient. 
4 as the remainder. Now let us divide 84 by 8. We know 8 ones, 8 subtract, we get 0, bring down the value in ones place, 4. Since 4 is less than 8, we put 0 here and subtract 0 from 4, 4. So here we get 10 as the quotient and 4 is the remainder. Children, do you know how to check our division is correct or not? To check that, we have to multiply quotient into divisor and then add the product to the remainder. We get this dividend. If we get the dividend, then our answer is correct. Let us check here. Here the quotient is 10. What is the divisor? 8. The answer is 80 and we add remainder to the product. Remainder is 4. 80 plus 4, 84. 84 is the dividend. So here our division is correct. Today we have learnt division of two digit and three digit numbers without regrouping and with regrouping. I hope you understand that. I have some examples for you. Can you please try it out?